What's up, what is gay guys, guys, and everybody else? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Hasa Case, your boy for We're back with another reaction video. This is Demon Slayer Season 1, Episode 17. Uh, last episode, um, Tanjiro ended up killing that one demon, the female one. Uh, she had a pretty sad backstory. Um, she was being abused by her, I guess, husband. Um, who is also a demon, and I'm guessing he is the one who is one of the 12 um, Kizuki? Yeah, 12 Kizuki. Um, so that was pretty sad. Made me feel some sort of way about, you know, her dying and stuff. But sometimes, you know, death is a mercy in some situations because, yeah, she was going through some shit, bro. She was going through some shit. Um, but then again, she also did massacre, like, those people who, who were demon demon slayers and stuff like that but then again they were sent there to kill them so you know yeah <laughs> um other than that um we got to meet the other child i guess it looked like a huge ass head like baby head it was just poking out of a tree and stuff like that i'm guessing it's like mounted on like a robotic spider body or something like that that's what it looked like and um yeah, anyways, uh, nothing major else happened. Yeah, nothing else major happened. So anyways, let's just get into this. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you do, please deliver a like, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode. And yeah, let go. Mm. I completely forgot that they were looking for the blood, actually. <笑><笑>どうしたかよ。体は大丈夫か、イノスケ。倒したかどうか聞いてんだ。ああ、倒した。それより、イノスケ、体は。俺に対してこまえから聞いて。倒したか。それより、イノスケ、体は。俺に対
善逸降りてこい修行を続けるぞいやもう死ぬと思うのでこれ以上修行したら死ぬと思うので死にはせんこの程度で降りてこいこのバカ者He's sweet talking, bro. He didn't get struck by lightning? That's how he got his ability? Damn! This dude just rip out his own head? Oh, this is the one that I'm going to get. I'm going to get a lot of things. I'm going to get a lot of uh, here comes the switch, let's go. Oof, in mid air? Might he dodge that in mid air? Do you have to keep on saying it like every single time? <laughs> right? Oh, it's a trick. Oh, that's what the title means. You have to master one thing. So this is the thing that he mastered. Facts. If you have only one skill, bro. Yeah. Kaminari no kata. Mutsu aru no ni ore ga hitotsu shika dekki ta koto nai kara. Katana no uchi kata o shitte ru ka? Shiran yo. Zutto tataku no? Naku yo, ore. Katana wa na. Tatai te tatai te tatake agite.不純物や余分なものを飛ばし鋼の純度を高め強靭な刀を作るんだだからじいちゃんは俺のこと毎日ぶったたくのかよでも俺は鋼じゃねえよな生身だからさくくく大したことのないやつだこの程度がおにがり or maybe it's oh no no okay it was because of the okay. Kiero.
何度も言わせんじゃねえ消えろよわかるだろう朝から晩までビービー泣いて恥ずかしくねえのかよ<笑>グズがお前みたいなやつに咲く時間がもったいない先生はなすごい人なんだでもじいちゃんはじいちゃんなんて慣れ慣れしく呼ぶんじゃねえ先生は柱だったんだ鬼殺隊最強の称号をもらった人なんだよ、うん、元柱に指南を受けられることなんてめったにない先生がお前に稽古をつけてる時間は完全に無駄だふかふか言えてるじゃんキアロなぜお前はここにいるんだ that, なぜお前はここにしがみつく You claim to, to... You claim to, you know, follow the sensei so much, but you don't want to follow his, his decision to train this dude? Fuck off! Damn. Nice. <laughs> Get clapped, motherfucker. Hide in his own, in his house. <laughs> Yo, mighty God, God, bro. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> what? <laughs> The way Meiji just landed, bro. じいちゃんの教えてくれたこと俺にかけてくれた時間は無駄じゃないんだじいちゃんのおかげで強くなった俺がたくさん人の役に立つ夢、うん、今日もうダメだ中太郎ごめんな<笑><笑>俺はちょっと向こうに行ってみようと思う。気にしたらいいんじゃねえの伊之助は下山するんだは山、降りてなんでだよ死ねよいや、しインジン怪我がひどいよ、yeah. 俺は怪我してんねえねえ You're bleeding everywhere, but... いや、伊之助その体の傷誰が見たってよ
Alright, that's weird as fuck. <laughs> Yo. So is my G. Is he just like taking care of his kids? Like, is he just protecting his family? I mean, I know he was a douchebag to his wife. He was. It's not even cutting him. Yo. Yo. That sword, it did not, it didn't cut off his hand. How, how strong is this dude? I guess he, he if he is the, um, the 12, one of the 12, you know, Kizuki, sorry. If he is one of the 12 Kizuki, then I guess it makes sense he's that powerful. But then if they can't even cut him with their swords that were made specifically to, to, to kill demons, then how are they supposed to defeat this dude? Maybe they're going to work together, all of them. Hmm. Alright, no, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but, like, I, I'm really curious to see, like, the backstory of this dude. He was, he is a douchebag. You know, for what he, for how he was uh, treating his wife and stuff. But I feel like they, sh they, there might be something deeper here. You know, uh, pretending to him, like, you know, just protecting, trying to protect his family against these other... Uh, I guess the demon slayers and stuff like that. So curious to see where that storyline will go. Ah oh, man, this um, <sighs> excuse me. Oh. This Zenitsu dude, his backstory is, yeah. That that was a pretty touching backstory. I can understand him a lot better now. I can uh, I can give him a lot more. Uh, you know. Uh, leeway i guess like just i can understand him i can understand when he is uh covering and stuff like you know some people there's just some people who are just like that you know it's just that uh, having to watch somebody cry like every single episode is it, it's tough it's really tough but i understand it he is trying you know he he is trying to to do better he's always been trying to do better from the backstory anyways uh the grams who took him in and trained him and stuff like that shout out to him he's a true one um the student that other student is like i i, I don't understand why people why people do that they'd be like yeah i i respect this teacher you know i respect my master i follow everything he says you know if the master tells you to do something, do it because he knows better. Etc. Etc. Give him respect and whatnot. Yeah. And then they turn around and go against their master's will just because they feel some sort of way about that other person. It's like, what are you doing? Is isn't that like countering yourself? Aren't you now disobeying your own master now? Like fuck off, bro. You what? <laughs> Who the fuck is you to to determine what um you know? What is a waste of time for your master? He can make that choice on his own. He knows better than you, family. So shut the fuck up. Sit down. Just do you, bruh. Okay? Don't concern yourself with what other people are doing. Do yourself and just fuck off. Simple. <laughs> I really don't like people like that, bruh. Like, damn. Anywho. um, Yeah, so he had nobody. He had... Yeah, he had nobody. No family. Nobody to, you know, tell him he could he can do anything and whatnot and whatnot until you know he was taken in by uh he this gramps of his so yeah uh i bet the gramps is pretty proud of him now you know because he did pass the exam and whatnot and now he is a demon slayer and he did i guess master this technique this one technique um but my question is did what happens to him when he he kind of changes but then in this one it seemed as if you know he was still in control in a sense but then i felt like he had like a completely different personality that just comes in when he needs to uh, protect himself so i'm a little bit not clear about that one i don't know if they're going to explain it or not if they want and you um you know the reason why then please do let me know uh but yeah yeah, uh, I wonder what's going to happen to him with the poison and stuff like that. 
Chintaro is probably going to bring him back an antidote. That's my guess. I don't know where, it's, where Chintaro is going to get it from, but yeah. Maybe it's going to go back to that dude who I'm guessing is like the head of the Demon Slayers and stuff like that. Uh, the one who was calling them like his children or stuff. So maybe that person might have like an antidote for this. Might save him. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please do leave a like, sub to the channel, and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode. And yeah, later.